Absolutely soaking wet. It's raining, man. We are not talking I today about it's that. Rainy man. Welcome back to our podcast. Today we are talking about how to deal with homophobia. homophobia. Or at least uh, Try our, to. Our, our point of view. You haven't looked at yourself in the mirror, no? I haven't, but I wanted to say that we have a point <laughs> and also a view. Uh, so this is our point of view. Okay, by the way, this is water, it's not any coffee, coffee or any alcohol li- or whatever, liqueur, liqueur. Uh, pink welcome, tea. welcome back to I Use Dance Spice Girls 2. I Use Dance Spice Girls 2? I did. I, I, I used to dance Spice Girls when I was like three years old. Stop right now. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. I, I need somebody, somebody with a human touch. Before we start with today's episode, I want to say that also Alice. Alice. There is also oh, Alice. Behind of you. And here. Behind of you. Be, be, behind you. Behind, behind of you. Me. Behind you. Has a point of view. Yeah. And her point of view is basically your, your neck. 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 Um, okay. Um, why do we want to talk about how to deal with homophobia? Because we want to uh, launch our intro. One, two, three. Intro. That wasn't the reason why we want to talk about how to deal with homophobia. No, it's because we are gay. <laughs> this is this is one of the reasons why we're talking about well, that's, that's, we, yeah. we experienced it, we experienced it. If you keep moving it. the table, the water is just going to... We experienced it, we have experienced it. Uh, we know that sadly something that we will keep experiencing. So we need to talk about it. Because, because if we, we need to learn. If we don't talk, it doesn't exist. If we talk, it exists. That's something. So if you want to disappear from the world, just don't talk. What's the most effective way to confront homophobia, uh, both online and in person? Well, it's very different. Um, As we mentioned before, this is our point of view and it's how we deal with all this. So online, um, it was a journey. It's been a journey for us, yeah. no? So at the beginning, uh, I just couldn't cope with it. I suffered so much myself. Ricky, not that much, but I did a lot. Um, so I, I've been learning. And now, in my opinion, is just to make fun of what they say. Or, Literally. Or block. Why don't we block? Because we have an online academy and an agency uh, for a personal brand and Instagram. And look, this is engagement, darling. So let them talk. And if you reply, they are going to talk more. And then engagement, boom, boom. But if you don't care about that because you are just, you know, have a personal account, account or whatever, uh, you can block, boom, perfectly. Because what we did at the beginning was to engage with them in conversation, but mm. but not to get engagement. No. Uh, to... Um, Try to um, change their minds. It was impossible. Which is impossible. With someone that is homophobic, it's like, okay, just stay in your uh, idiocity. Do, can we say that word? I don't know. Idiocy? Id- Idiosyncrasia. Id- idiosity. Idiosyncrasia. I don't know. You know what I mean. What you know what I mean. Anyways, uh, they 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 can change. Obviously, we all uh, we were yeah. homophobic ourselves. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, internalized homophobia. We will talk about this later. But we were. Uh, so someone that is not even gay. Imagine. Okay, they come from other backgrounds, etc. Yes. Backgrounds. Blah 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 blah. So they can also learn. But obviously online, uh, we, I don't think it's the place for you to teach any, anyone because they are not there to learn anything. The haters are there to hate. Not anyone, not to teach people that are homophobic. The haters. Ah, oh, the haters, you said. I didn't hear you. So 
sorry. The haters, I mean. Um, so online blog or if you want engagement for your account, engage with them. But um, just make fun of them, seriously, like la laugh at them. And in person, obviously, it's uh, more complicated mm. depending on where you are in the world, how you are feeling, many little things depend on that. Fair to say that we don't suffer at the moment for, I mean, all our relationship. We haven't like suffer uh, from homophobia, like yeah, super strong um, in our families or mostly in yours or well friends, not friends, but friends of of, of friends. Um, no, with hard homophobia, but with internalized homophobia, yeah, maybe. or even with assumption. Those yeah. yes, yes, so those that, that things, happens. Yes, so we had to deal with that, but. Um, I mean, in person, it just depends on, on, on the person. But the most important thing is be safe, to be honest. Yeah. Don't engage with uh, someone or a situation that you are not sure you can control. Yeah, no? yeah uh, actually, that remind me, reminded me of something that happened to me at the beginning of our uh, journey on, uh, on Instagram and building our business, uh, that I suffered of homophobia online. Um, uh, yeah, I know what you're uh, going to say. Basically, uh, we are we have an Instagram course, so we the, uh, help people to uh, use their Instagram professionally. And so I was having this conversation on Facebook with someone who wanted to grow on Instagram and use Instagram, etc., etc. So after like an hour of talking with this guy, uh, I told him, okay, would you like to get on a call, on a Zoom call, to know more about what we can offer you and how we can help you further? And he was like, uh, I sorry, I can't because my religion doesn't allow me to. Wow. It was super nice in a way that he was telling that, but literally it was like I, I started crying. I remember, and and first of all, I felt uh, I didn't feel attacked. I was like, oh my god, this is my bad. I shouldn't told the guy that I was gay, and, and then I was like, no, my god, what, what, what am what am I saying? That's something that you should never think of. So. Uh, whether you've said yes, remember that you need to be safe and feel comfortable first before taking any any action. And and in person, what's the best thing to do? Sadly, is what it is. But if you sub get a, any a, attack attacks, uh, run. Literally, like run is the go of, remove yourself from the situation. But you're talking about an extreme situation, and, like. Yes. If someone is mm, is calling you names uh, on the street, just yeah, try not to. It's difficult, but what well, we to be honest, I'm not. I'm not for that anymore. I know it's difficult, and it. I'm not sure if I should even say that. Um, but myself, depending on how many people are, if it's just one person, to be honest, I don't care what can happen. Um, no, I confront them. I know, I'm but not in that moment anymore. I'm old enough. Um, but we have to say that the best thing to do is to yes, run. Yes, obviously. <laughs> I mean, well, run. G get yourself out of the situation. Um, Maybe report it to the police if you can do it. As a uh, if you are in a country where discrimination is illegal, that is kind of discrimination, etc. It's difficult to to deal with it, but yeah. Things like that. Literally, de depends on what it is. How do you protect your mental health from homophobia? Me, uh, look, uh, it was what I was saying before about the guy that mm, was uh, telling me that he couldn't have a conversation with me because his religion didn't allow him to. Um, and it's really, first of all, is not to take th things too personal because, again, is something sometimes when people react to it, it because of because of them, not because of you. Um, and so I remember that at that point I, I started crying and I felt very bad, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then I, I said to myself, I cannot really make this happen again uh, and hinder my entire journey that I'm done with myself, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And uh, and I think it will be always to it feels probably like cocky. Uh, but it puts your your yourself first always when th this thing happens. So you can uh, 
take uh, take care of yourself first. So that's that's actually what RuPaul says: love yourself first before loving anyone else. Uh, that's I think that being happy with yourself and loving yourself and helping yourself to uh, uh, be comfortable in any situation will help you with dealing with everything. Uh, but how 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 no, what would what would you say to that Ricky today? You know, if you can go... RuPaul moment. RuPaul with, moment. With if you could go backwards in time. Um, but to yourself, like, hey, listen to me. Yeah, I was like, don't worry. This is just a um, something that is happening. It's not about you, but it's about what uh, sadly is currently in the world. And uh, you will gr from this one, you will learn so much and you will grow older and, and stronger. Uh, and, yesterday. And, and that's actually something you remember that, that happened to us as well uh, with someone else specifically to me again it always happens to me um, we have a um, we are actors etc etc and with I, one of the auditions that we did um, uh, one of our agents I'm not gonna say any names or anything told me the the fact that I that my voice is too gay that might be hindering for me getting into castings. So it's like next time you do a casting, maybe try to speak with your normal voice, not with your gay voice. Those weren't the words, dot, dot, dot. but to be honest, that's kind of. That was the meaning. Kind of. Uh, and, and that, Her I dear. know that that person is not homophobic, but that's part of well that is the homophobia, homophobia. O obviously internalized or um, social homophobia or however yeah. you want to call it um, and how you protect your mental health from that saying again that is, uh, is most of the time it's not about you but it's, it's about other people and the society most of the times no it's always not about you it's about it's other never people. about you it's yeah. about them and they are not doing um, that to you Personally, is what you said at the beginning, no? Uh, don't take it that personally because it's not against you as a human being. It is against um, what they think. Uh, the quality of, of someone should be. Yeah. Um, so, you know, is their thing, not yours. Um, that's very important. Don't take it personally. Yeah, like, and, and... Bye bye, ciao. And also... But I... You are beautiful and you are loved, basically. Yeah, the other thing that people can do uh, to look after their mental health is really to um, seek help and with other people that are in the community, uh, create your own community of people that are like you, uh, and also get help from. So there are so many like free organizations out there that can help you to deal with moments of uh, homophobia and experiencing homophobia. We're already at the first section of okay. our podcast. <laughs> Just a little break. Uh, look at Ricky's eyes. <laughs> he was laughing like crazy <laughs> and I cannot make him stop. Okay, so we are going to come back. Uh, uh, sorry, like that. that happens sometimes. Anyways. So catch me if you can. Game. What of the following 90s TV characters you think would be more supportive of the LGBTQ plus community? Today, no? Today. Or if they exist... Okay. If, yes, if they would do it again today, the same TV show or whatever. Okay. okay. I'm gonna go. <laughs> you can go. I'm gonna start. <laughs> You're gonna start. <laughs> Dylan from 9210 or Joey from Friends? Joey, you mean? Joey. What did I say? Uh, joy. Uh, um, uh, Joey. Absolutely, yes. Uh, Joey from Friends or Ross from Friends? Ross from Friends. Absolutely. From Friends. Uh, Ross from Friends or Mulder? Mulder? Mulder. <laughs> Mulder from X Files. Mulder from X Files because it's more uh, intelligent, just that. Mulder from X Files or Wolverine? X-Men. Mm. The Wolverine. Uh, look, uh, Wolverine is a mutant, so I'm but sure that he knows a, a lot of how to be different, blah, blah, blah. But he's got more internalized homophobia. And Mulder, come on, Mulder is... M Mulder. It's because of the fur the homophobia comes from? If it's a joke, I don't get <laughs> it. It's a joke. <laughs> Mulder from X-Files or Zach Morris from Saved by the Bell? 
Sa saved by the bell. Mulder. Mulder or Carlton from Prince of Bel-Air. As long as you want to be loved by anyone. Na 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 na. Mulder. Mulder or Billy from the Power Rangers? Billy was gay. <laughs> was gay. <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure if he was gay, but uh, he was. Uh, is the Power Ranger blue? The blue Power Ranger, and I, I mean, I wanted to be him. Uh, look, I need to say Mulder. Mulder. Come on. Mulder or Mitch Buchanan from Baywatch? Mulder. He is going to win. Uh, Mulder or He-Man from Masters of the Universe? He-Man, not obviously. He-Man. That's the name. He is a man. Man. So no. Absolutely not. I'm sorry. Loads of internalized homophobia. Mulder. Mulder forever. Mulder or Cruz Castillo <gasps> from Santa Barbara. My God, you did. You have I no clue what it. that is. It's a no, hot guy? Santa Barbara. I used to watch Santa. Bar I was a super little child with my grandmother. Santa Barbara. I remember that uh, before the episode, they said episode one hundred thousand. It was amazing. Mm. So long. Cruz Castillo was like a super hot um, Latin guy. Mm. I think he was the police officer. Santa Barbara, I believe. Santa Barbara. Because I used to watch so like a nice, a, like a, like a telenovela, but it was American. It was called uh, so Popra. So Popra called Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, I don't know if it's the same, but in Italian, in Italian they call it the Beautiful. Anyway, they had so, so many, many, many episodes. Mother or Steve Urkel from Family Matters. <gasps> Come on. That's very difficult because, yeah. I mean, Mulder is... Steve. I cannot think of anybody more um, ally than him, to be honest. I can I cannot think of. Uh, and Steve Urkel, 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 whatever. Urkel. Um, uh, Ah, I'm sorry, I need to go with Mulder. Mulder or... Is the, the last, last one? one? Hercules from Hercules. Mulder. But Hercules was so hot. I remember I believe that, that even the actor is like a, a little bit homophobic. Really? I'm not sure. Oh. Look, I'm going to keep it if when I'm editing this, uh, because I'm going to check it out, but I believe it, he is. Yes. Oh my God. I believe so. So... Mulder is a winner! Yeah, my father would be so proud! Because he was in love with X-Files. I actually uh, watched X-Files with him. We started watching X-Files last yeah, year. Yeah, uh, We were like, you remember that hotel? We should, that was we should come very, back to it. Very strange hotel in Valencia, next to the airport. Ooh. It was like, the, all the lights were flicking. Ah, yes. Do you I remember would, that? I know, yes. <laughs> and like, and the screen, like, the TV was so big, and there was, like, four beds in the room. So, such a weird hotel. <laughs> yes. Mamma mia. Completely. Mulder, we have to come back to it, okay? 100%. Um, how can allies best support the LGBTQIA plus uh, community against homophobia? By showing up, <laughs> first of all. If you're an ally, you need to show up. It doesn't matter. I mean, if you're on social media, it would be great, but we understand that social media for many people, uh, there are allies, maybe are not even the best place because they have a business, so they use it for other things to sell their products or whatever. But apart from that, uh, if you're an ally, really uh, show up and uh, educate. Educate yourself. Yeah. And, and everybody. Yeah, and, and, and of course, educate the other people around you. Uh, but learn a lot, read a lot, ask questions. Look, well, even let's do a little break. Even ourselves mm -hmm. need to be educated. We educate ourselves um, because in the LGBTQIA plus community, there is also like a like a little hole there. Yeah. Gay people stay with gay people. N not they, just uh, stay because no, we all have like lots of different friends. Uh, but no about our issues, let's say, gay people, lesbians are, yeah. about theirs, uh, trans about theirs, and there's not a lot of intersectionality, maybe, and mm. it should be more. So even ourselves, the community, we should learn about the, the rest. Actually, it was super empowering when uh, one of our trans friends told us like her story, 
uh, and how she came out and all that kind of stuff. It was like, oh my god, it's so nice. It's different when you read it or hear it like from like an interview and you see it in person and you yeah. see that person there yeah. that have, has been transitioning. Uh, so the, yeah, absolutely. Also, when uh, the, uh, this student of ours, Erica, um, she um, she's American and she suffered um, conversion therapy. Conversion therapy, and you know we've never known anybody. We've never met anybody in person, in person uh, that has suffered that. Uh, so everything we've seen was on TV. But listening to the to the real the real the thing in front, in front of, of us, the person, ah. it was such a powerful moment, and we've learned so much. So we also need to be, you know, educated. We educate ourselves daily. Uh, actually, that's a good moment to say, look, if we are making any mistakes, or you think that we are saying something that I don't know. Um, we could say differently, or we are uh, we don't know really well, or whatever. Just let us know in a comment, in a DM. We are here to learn, all of us. So education is like such a yeah, such an important uh, thing. And then what I said before as well, like ask and and get like no, not involved, but um, really uh, ask questions and, and and try to understand the other person if you are an ally. Uh, I remember the. Um, uh, this TV series that we watched, Veneno, and the friend of the main character of uh, Valeria Vega, uh, and the way that she supports like a friend that's transitioning, and uh, it's fantastic. It's nice. It's nice to see it. So I think if I were a friend, an ally, I would. Uh, it would be something great to do for a friend who's part of the LGBT community. To ask questions uh, and be there for them and support Education. them. Education. Always matters. This brings us to the next section, <gasps> uh, which is called Fake Guru. Are you a fake guru? I'm a fake guru. We are fake Gu love gurus. We are not gurus. Because we are not gurus, basically. <laughs> I used but, to watch. But. What? No, what, what were you. What stupidity were you going to say? <laughs> I used to watch a uh, cartoon, uh -huh. an anime. Uh, it was called Guru Guru. Guru Guru. Guru Guru, magico mondo. Guru Guru, magico tondo. Guru Guru, entra in un mondo che con tanta fantasia potrà giocare insieme a te facendo. Very nice. It's so interesting and yeah. so, you know. It's, it's part of the fake. Uh -huh. The question is this is one of the questions that uh, we get a lot on Instagram. Uh, and it says How can I fight against my internalized homophobia? What is internalized homophobia? Before we go into that. Internalized homophobia is um, the, the embarrassment you feel um, because you're not comfortable assuming uh, what your sexuality or your gender is, no? Your kind of identity, that. Yes. Gender. So, internalized homo homophobia... Mm. Uh, what was the question? How can I fight against okay. my internalized okay. homophobia? Um, well, to be honest, the first thing we, we've done ourselves is sit, sitting down. It's great because we are two, so we can tell each other what the other doesn't see. Um, but we sat down, really, and talked about it a lot. So talk to yourself and... Admit it. Definitely see what it is. Look for examples of internalized homophobia. We have done that in the yeah. past uh, because we've done a few videos in the past, also uh, both on Instagram and YouTube about this topic. And literally, we looked for it and examples. Oh, look! Oh, we we do that. Oh, we did that. Um, so it's great that you educate again yourselves about the type of internalized homophobia you've got or those little things because sometimes yeah. they are little and not too little um but starting loving yourself and not caring what other people think or believe is the truth or the right thing no don't listen to those people listen to the lgbtqia plus community uh, that brings me actually to also say that Sometimes, 
the internalized homophobia is, is so much internalized, is so much internalized that you think that maybe you like something. I'm talking about like sexually, uh, you get attracted to something, but it's because of the internalized homophobia that you like that specific thing. You know, like all those people that are mask for mask, etc., etc. Sometimes, yes, there are people that like just certain type of other people, etc. But in other cases, there's a lot of internalized homophobia there. To be honest, let's be honest, we believe 100% that when you as a, we are talking about gay people now, okay? You as a gay people, just uh, I just like masculine guys. In our case, uh, that happened before, and as we were breaking all those uh, stupid walls of internalized homophobia, we've been realizing that that was that or, shit, or, basically. Or the opposite, like I just like guys that are flamboyant. Because it's the opposite, because you don't want to admit that you like the same Masculine. sex yeah, yeah. <laughs> that you are. Yeah, that um, hap so that, yeah, happens, that a happens a lot. Like, I just like twings. Well, anyways. It's um, difficult, and there's so much to unpack over there, but you need to work on it. The great, I, I think the greatest thing that you have to do, or the biggest thing you have to do, is assume that you might be wrong. <laughs> you know? Yeah. That what you believe is true, it might not be true. Like maybe you are lying to yourself, 100%. okay? Because that happens. That happened to us. Yeah, hundred percent. We lie to ourselves. Um, so it's been a journey. And what we do also is um, consume a lot of LGBTQIA plus content, um, even fun content. Content. But the more you see, the more you understand, and the more you hear other people telling yes. the story that also reflects on you, the more it, it, feels, it seems stupid, but it's what it is, it's really true. If you can, if your, your story can resonate with someone, look, this is, that's already a lot. That's the reason why we're doing this. Yes, absolutely. Because we've been told many times, uh, look, listening to you um, help, help me, me underst understand myself. So that's literally why we're doing this. Yes, 100%. We're almost... Almost there. At getting, the end. Getting there. Getting I'm there. getting there. At the end of today's episode. Um, but I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. What societal changes are needed to combat homophobia? Destroy the society. I mean, uh, it again. Yeah? You haven't watched V for Vendetta. No, I haven't. I haven't, but we need to. But really, I'm, I mean, the main problem of homophobia I think it's society in general, not all type of society, but in what are the constructs their society based on? Because uh, it's all about like mm, having like a, a, a power, and a, most of society are still very uh, masculine power based. Can I say that? Pa patriarchal. Patriarchal. That was the word that I missed, um, and that's literally what have uh, happened. And, and the war. So basically, we need to destroy patriarchy. We need to destroy patriarchy. Okay, can we say that on YouTube? Or, I believe so. Uh, we need to destroy patriarchy. That's the social change that we will need to. Mamma mia, that's quite a lot. Yeah, but there are things, and always I think uh, I always think of the animals because all the animals are there, and none of them is homophobic, and there's no homophobia, or they are all bisexual, etc., etc. Um, so that really, that for me, is a meaning, actually, it's how I express this, I explained it, explained it to my parents when I was talking about, like, the genders and the fact that it's all a spectrum, etc., etc. It was like, look at the dogs. We have four dogs, they have four dogs. Like, do they act differently because one is a female and the other one is a male? No, they act the same. If they want something, they're gonna get it. That's it. Um, and they were like, "Oh, that's true." So it's all about society, the way that we dress, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right? Uh, so destroy society. Uh, how can do? How can that, we do that? That, that? That's very difficult. So it's the same thing. That, it's, it's literally the same that I said earlier on. It was like. You need to educate yourself. That's actually the, how we can make the change. It's like it's learning, learning, and understanding that this is uh, is normal. Visibility, also, and visibility, no? yes, yeah. But as a societal like a change. change, we will need. I, I don't know now how is in the world, but we should learn in school about all of this instead of studying things that they don't really matter. 
at the, because you study many many things as well, it really doesn't make sense. I'm looking at the camera directly because I'm afraid that Rick is going to say something. No, no. Anything specific? No, but I used to play chess at school. Amore. No, but that's something you decided to. No, because we didn't have a gym, so we couldn't do gymnastics, so we were playing chess. But which is great because actually, I love chess. Look, I, li I, I love it too. I received actually, uh, Mira, this, uh, is, this is a take. Yeah, I chess I, I paid for chess lessons when I was a I, child. I, I didn't, and that was very well, good. Well, not myself, my parents. Uh, you didn't, but I, I mean, there are many things. You, uh, ethics. I mean, you, I studied religion. So Catholic religion. No. Ah, you studied. I studied Catholic ah, religion. Sorry, I school. thought you meant. Uh, okay. Re so like instead of studying Catholic religion, we should do like ethics and, and anthropology and understand why the society is so bad. But I was fucked up, but I couldn't say it. So I said bad. You said that, and again, uh, now nah, I'm going to beep it. Ah, uh, uh, that's uh, very nice. I mean, uh, that was very nice of you, fake guru. <laughs> yeah, change the society. Change the society. Destroy it. Destroy it. Uh, great. So last section so last thing of the day of today's wow. episode already we go to our jukebox chronosphere okay okay so ricardo carollo you can't say my last name why not because people then gonna supplant la identidad <laughs> steal my identity <laughs> What song of the 2000s gives you that strength boost to fight against homophobia? I need to think about it. Yes, obviously. Um, what's strong? For, what's strong? What song <laughs> from this from the 2000s give me the strength? <laughs> um, okay, I got it. Uh, this group called Tattoo, Tattoo? You talked about them before. That's why you got it so fast. I didn't. All the things she said, all, all the, the things, things she said, said running, running through my head, head running through my head, head, running through my head. Yes. Is that one, no? It's that song. No, because of the video clip. Because there are two... Oh, the song, also. Yeah, but also in the video clip there are two girls that are like kissing... Uh, I mean, it was quite making, powerful. Make, make up, make, making up. Making up? Making make up. up. It was, that was a very powerful video, to be yeah. honest. Everyone was hating them. Well, not everyone, because I we wasn't. Um, I loved it. All it the... So um, conservative know. people didn't like it. I, yes, I didn't want to say that, but yes, what that it is. is what it is. Conservative people don't like change. Because they, they are conservative. Change, change, change. That's why they are conservative. Because they want to conserve. Conserve the things as they are. Is it is like the perfect word to no to define them? Conservative. Uh, no, all the things she said. All the things she said. So all the things she said. All the things she said. Running through my head. Running through my head. All the things she said. Hola palabras. That's another song. It's another one well. by them. Uh, yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one. You can listen to it if, if you haven't yet. But now that we are talking about music, I want to say something else. We also have music, and this is very. But so, uh, so far, it's in Spanish. It's in Spanish, but also has hints of the uh, 90s, 90s and 2000s. So our songs, if we were mm, no, no. created in the no, no. 2000. Ah, I thought you were going to say if uh, they were in English. No, no, they no, no, will no. be. They will be in English, but you you can listen to them and and, in and like them anyway. Right? Yes. So all the things Ricky said are running through my head. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> running through my head. Uh, yes. So that's the song. So listen to our songs too. They are amazing and fantastic. And I love you. I love you too. I will love you all. And that was it. So you know what you have to do, depending on where you are watching this video or listening to this podcast like um, subscribe share, subscribe share it. Um, send Listen us to it. Uh, cupcakes because these ones are hard rock you know hard rock cafe hard rock cafe anyways we love you so much and we will see you very soon bye <laughs>